Welcome back to Let's Play Dead Space 2, and we're continuing from where we last left off, which was in the gift shop of Unitology. Checking my bases. What? What? Okay, then? I haven't had that happen before. Damn it, guys, I told you to wait for me on the rat poison. The cathedral reported two pressure equalization cycles during services last Sunday. The first was minor and only blew some candle flames around, giving Pastor O'Brien a much needed, if unexpected, boost in his sermon. Uh, the second cycle was more harsh, resulting in a pressure snap that popped people's ears and sent several to medical. That was not needed. Welcome to the Unity Hall. This magnificent library holds copies of the church's most sacred texts and is a regular meeting place for the Unitology scholars as they debate the glorious mysteries of the Black Marker. Note the intricate details of the stained glass roof forged from the hand-filtered sand of Titan itself. <clears throat> I hear an infection. Pretty nice uh, interiors they got. Too bad they're just as batshit insane as what's going on on the rest of this damn station. Oh, hi. There's a second one. Anyone else? Break this fuse, you can actually go back down to the gift shop and everything. But I don't think we'll be needing to go there again. Welcome to Indoctrination. A church seminar is currently in progress. Please wait for the next available church associate. Indoctrination is a pleasant, joyous event where you will take the first steps into glorious oneness that is, Unitology. You know, have you ever felt like you were meant to be part of something bigger? Then maybe Unitology was for you. Founded 200 years ago. 
aside from all fucked up shit, I mean, Unitology doesn't sound that bad. So we gotta boost up the power to get to that door working. I think behind that door we actually get the uh, security suit, the normal one. <clears throat> and Doctor in test phase one. Results for Casey Millen. Desire to belong high. Unassertiveness low. Gullibility low. Uh, tolerance for ambiguity high culture disillusion low idealism high susceptible to trace like states low self-confidence high a desire for spiritual meaning low awareness of group influences on individuals high the subject is highly uh, or is highly unlikely to stay affiliated with the church after a short period of time we expect him to exit the system after the thining requirements section of the initiation. The observation center door in the junction panel. Vandalism in the church is not permitted. We should invite him to go as far as he'd like, but no, not book for future earnings against him. So it sounds kind of like a brainwashing sequence, but that's just me. Plug this little fuse in here. Bye, bitch. I hope I didn't miss one of my favorite weapons in this game. Don't think I did. I just got the security suit. It could be a combination between dementia and PTSD as well. Actually, no, it's both actually. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes, yeah, so that'll just take us back to the same area again. <laughs> <coughs> Or 
about to experience one of my favorite necromorphs. Didn't mean to swing. So, we're going to get a new Necromorph coming up. These are actually highly intelligent ones. They work together. And they are Dead Space version of Velociraptors. something in the church. It, it broke the door. Hang on. I'll try to override all the gates in the area. Oh, hurry. There's something on here, too. Meet the stalkers. see what I can do. Okay, once you're through, you'll go through the funerary wing of the church and down into the crypt. It's very important you not the third. No, no, Earth Cup can't damage in here. Not through here. Dana, Dana! Important that I want. But yeah, stalkers will never attack head on. They will always use the element of surprise. Like I said, Religion of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. Is far better. Report number two, uh, making progress, but I can't get away from my partner without arousing suspicion. I'll figure something out. one more conduct room and I think I know where it's at. Well since it's right here we'll go ahead and save.
Now reload's all maxed out. Go ahead and add one into the alt fire. Now, before I equip this suit, we're going to go ahead and just take a save because, um, I don't know if this is a glitch or something, but the, the hacker suit has a tendency to go away from the inventory with a, when a different suit is equipped. So I'll go ahead and just buy this. Can open a Red Bull, the green edition. Sit here and wait for him to step out. Oh, no. Well, I've had it happen a few times where it wouldn't come back. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> but I'm going to keep the hacker suit. Life is more valuable than theirs. I'm dark to say. Hey, buddy. Had a great. I don't know. I'm not going to read all that. Oh, the body just disappeared. Oh, 
Raiders. Oh wait, no, I know where we get my favorite weapon. <laughs> Is it my favorite? Yeah, it's one of them. I'm talking about the Ripper. <clears throat> Doomslayer might have his chainsaw, but Isaac has the Ripper blade. Not to be confused with the uh, fucking Spectre's fucking Ripper Blade from Black Ops 3. Seriously, whoever used that motherfucker and used a Ripper Blade, go. If you know anyone in that, tell them to go fuck themselves. That thing was broken beyond belief. Looks like somebody didn't get the concept of being dead. Um. <clears throat> so other than Dead Space Ignition, there is another Dead Space that was released on iOS. Don't think you can get it anymore because I've checked recently and you can't. I can't find it. But it focuses on events right before Dead Space 2. You don't play as Isaac or DeFranco in uh, Ignition, but this one is called... Uh, I forget what it's actually called. I think it's called Dead Space Mobile. But you play as a character named Vandal. <clears throat> and I think she had a hand in throwing out some necromorphs from in here it's it's a concept that I'd have to read up more on but I do know that much <clears throat> TPS report crypt ops temperature crypt officer zizzle J the software glitch that caused the thaw and loss of two bodies last week has returned we were able to switch the majority of section one over to manual control before any significant rise in temperature I'll suspect the Earth government officers that were denied access to the crypt last week are somehow responsible. It may, it may prove to be otherwise, but the timing of their visit and the error, error is too coincidental. We will reformat the operating system tonight, eliminating any chance of possible infectious software. I'll pull a triple shift to ensure all goes well. Sizzle out. So... Yeah. But here I go again. Dead Space 2 looks really well. It, it wasn't for like the 360 thing beside like the main title card. Like, could you really tell this is a 360 game? Now, see? Those damn things can still hurt you even when dead.
And unlike the first game, Dead Space 2 has multi Oh, hi. How are you? Did you die? But the multiplayer is basically like TDM mixed with domination. And is it active still? I'm gonna say no. Cause I, I've actually played a few matches. And it's all right, I guess. But it took way too long in between just to find a single match, so. <clears throat> Facility work order 118745. Problem, Crypt Coffin's getting stuck in the tracks. Repair status. Examine the track system delivery coffins to the crypt. One coffin was jammed inside the release gravity. TK'd the coffin free, took several attempts, coffin damaged. Examine the track system. Several support struts have broken free, wrapping the track. The cold of the crypt caused brittleness in the poorly executed original weld. Realign the track, welding trucks properly back into place, tested five coffins, all passed smoothly. Work completed, closing ticket. Estimated completion, five hours. Data, I think I found the exit, but it's way above me. Gravity controls are locked out. Data? She is the Ripper. Free power node. So now you gotta get the uh so you gotta get the gimple arms onto this ring and you have to use stasis but I've actually done it a few times where I actually don't need it you just gotta be really quick with it Just like that. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. Now. med packs are now available at the store. Is she eight thousand? And I will actually sell a stack. And there we go. We got my new game plus uh, setup. 
unlike the first one, where it was basically like a big old gun that held the blade right in front of you, it's actually more of a wrist mount. And I actually enjoyed this ripper more. Hey zombies! Wanna try out my new gun? <laughs> God, I miss Black Ops. I miss the original Black Ops. Black Ops. <clears throat> like, Black Ops 3 should have been the end. But, you know, old damn old Treyarch was like, Nah, fam, we gotta make Black Ops 4 and say fuck you to the players. I will never forgive them of that. There's a lot of video game companies I won't forgive for a lot of stuff, but... Oh well. I'm actually going to throw damage onto the Ripper. It is so weird having to go back and upgrade everything. Because I played New Game Plus for so damn long. So it's just a straight line. area at all line racks for the line gun that I still don't use And I'm pretty sure the functionality of the Ripper is still the same even between Dead Space and Dead Space 2. Yeah, Lurkers don't get a cinematic cutscene like they did in the original. anything I 
Oh, I guess I grabbed them. on top of the church. You're almost here. I'll be waiting by the shuttle. I kind of forgot that there was a necromorph breakthrough on an elevator. <clears throat> like, I forget which elevator it was, but... Oh well. And then we get another new weapon that, unless fully upgraded, it's not that fun to use the detonator. But I mean, just look at that. I, that is really impressive, even for 360. Hell, I remember playing Fallout 3 for the first time and was like, wow. That's amazing. No. Nowadays, people look at Fallout 3 and be like, is this it? Dana! You're a unitologist. Of course you are. Why did I trust you? Well, you didn't have a choice, Isaac. I told you there was a cure and you came running. Why are you doing this? Why can't everyone just leave me alone, huh? You're a dangerous secret, Isaac. EarthGov won't leave you alone because they're afraid you'll destroy their marker. After all, you did build it. What are you talking about? Well, that's why we brought you here. To build markers for us. To spread glorious convergence to the entire galaxy. You people are unbelievable! Just give me the fucking cure and let me go. No, we don't want to cure you, Isaac. We need that precious little head of yours just the way it is. Now would you escort Isaac to the shuttle and put him in stasis? The last thing we want is for him to die. <laughs> Get on, bitch! Oh, 
insidious name. Are you there? Geek, can you hear me? What do you want, Strauss? Look, it's over. All my plans just blew out the window. No, 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 it's not over. At least not yet. Isaac, Isaac, we, we build it. We can tear it down. Oh, you, you mean the marker? Do you know where the marker is, Strauss? It, it's in the government sector. In the government sector, but we have to move now. Now, now, now. Because time is running out for moving for us. Strauss! Strauss, where are you going? And again, you gotta give Isaac fucking credit. He just took steel beams to the dome and everything, and he can still just walk it off. If that doesn't show that Isaac is a fucking machine, god damn, I don't know what is. And also, again, he also been betrayed twice by the Unitologists. Because Kendra in the first one was a self-proclaimed Unitologist who betrayed everyone. Laundry baby? No laundry baby. Man. We gotta go that way, but I think if we go this way. Here's where you would get the seeker rifle. The normal one. We have the patrol seeker. Sorry guys, I have a terrible memory.
I hate that alarm. As a kid, I had an exact alarm clock that made that exact noise. I remember they took us to the machine for a session <clears throat> for the steps. I don't remember any sessions. You're lucky you don't remember. When you do, he starts coming back. Who? Who comes back? Who? So much. What are you doing? Strauss, don't follow. He's not really there. Seems like someone was waiting for the elevator. All surviving squads are ordered to fall back. Repeat, fall back from the sector. Operation Endgame is in effect. Contingencies are in place for our lost assets. Director Titan. All surviving squads are ordered to fall back. Repeat, fall back. Are we just here? This might be a different area. I don't know. Hey, it's Nikado Avocado! mode these things are fucking annoying Shit, he's breakdancing! You can stop now. <laughs> Is there a safe point around here?
buy a few of those. Oh. And here's a new, a new type of environmental hazard. The cysts. And these things... When you see an open area like this and you start hearing the groans and moans, be cautious. And check your surroundings because they put them in bullshit places. Even the little uh, cis part has a, a mind of its own. Because it will actually try to jump at Isaac and everything. And it, it, one way to tell face if you're too close to assist is it will start to show. What would you call that? A little bomb or something? There we go. Got a bit more health now as well. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I'm actually going to end it off here. Again, hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you all in the next video. Catch y'all.